we see it time and time again. How how is a 22-year-old Cambria having to fight for her mother? How is a young Elroy having to fight for his sister? You know, and this is this is the legacy our government leaves for our children. Nine years has passed since the death of Tina Fontaine. Some didn't let the rain stop them from gathering at the Odina Circle here on the Forks ground Thursday evening on the anniversary of her passing to remember Fontaine and all missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. Fontaine was an Indigenous schoolgirl who passed away on August 10, 2014, at the age of 15. Her body was found and pulled out of Winnipeg's Red River on August 17, wrapped in plastic in a duvet cover and weighed down with rocks. Raymond Joseph Cormier was charged with second-degree murder in her death in December 2015, to which a jury found him not guilty in February 2018. A 2019 report by the Manitoba Advocates for Children and Youth noted that public services failed to provide Fontaine with supports she needed, especially in the months leading up to her death. Every system was supposed to protect my sister and many others, and they all failed, and I want to change the system and spread awareness and make sure that there is going to be change. The group is raising their voices against the injustice and discriminations against Indigenous people, saying that the systems that failed Fontaine keeps on failing many others. Our government is fully aware of the systemic racism that we face on a daily basis. They're fully aware that the majority of children in care are Indigenous. But we're still doing this and we're still out here, rain or shine, just fighting for justice. The ceremony continued with a march to the Alexander Docks calling out the names of several missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls. It's time to enact the 231 calls for justice and the 91 calls to action. You know, we've put in the work, we've spent the money, we've done the research, we know what we need, but our government's not listening. In Winnipeg, Timmy Olatunde, City News.